So you're wondering how to lose weight and keep it off and how to heal your liver and heal your skin and heal your digestive issues, heal your vagina, <laughs> your feminine reproductive area, um, heal your breath, heal your yeast infections, bacterial vaginosis, heal your hair that's falling out, um, rotting teeth, what else? Horrible acne, cystic acne, what else is there? heart problems, um, diabetes, anxiety, really bad sleep, um, poop problems, pee problems, sexual reproductive problems. Well, you start with food, but you don't go to the store and you don't just go buy broccoli and spinach and you start, you know, grinding it up. You've got to chew your food a lot of the times, honestly. You need to put the work in, but really, you know, the stuff that's really going to amplify your progress, it's not going to be these things that you think. It's not going to be these little health packaged um, things that are at eye level for you to grab. No, it's really going to be things like this. These are sardines. Um, and you get used to them. I think they're delicious. I never had to get used to them. You, get, you can get them in different kinds. Um, and I'm not here talking about fish farming and all that and like the ethics of it. I'm talking about our health um, because these things boost your health, your immunity. Um, they start to heal your, your b microbiome, you know, your fauna and flora, your bacteria it starts to balance you out. And just sardines alone can start, sardines alone you could live on. You know, sardines alone with water. There are certain foods that you could actually live on for life, like these, like almonds. Only, only the raw almonds. You, you've really got to find good almonds. Save that for another video. But you guys, I've lost 70 pounds. I used to be 200 pounds. And I'm, oh, well, 71 pounds. As of last week, I dipped down into 129, and I have kept it off. And I look beautiful. I look amazing. I'm only 30 years old, you know, or I'm turning 30 years old in a couple of weeks on June 8th. And um, I will say my vision has gotten worse. And I'm trying to actually focus on my nutrition to see if I can help fix my vision. But um, I'm pretty sure I prolonged my vision getting worse with the way that I eat, with my nutrition, with these special foods that people don't really ever talk about. So um, you got to find the foods they call, uh, you know, I call them whole foods, foods like dates, foods like sardines, almonds, uh, figs are very important. There's certain foods, um, chlorophyll, chlorophyll is the stuff that makes plants green, but you need that. Um, that stuff is, is like medicine. So you just, uh, you know, they have different flavors. My grandparents grew up in the Great Depression era and, uh, you know, they went hungry as teenagers. And so I was raised a lot um, for several years by my grandma and grandpa. Um, and they had the pantries outside in, in their patio area, just two or three pantries stocked full of canned goods and stuff like that. And in them was always um, those little Vienna sausages. Those are kind of gross, but I loved those as a kid. And sardines. My grandpa ate sardines every day, and he lived to be really old. He was strong. He was really handsome. And up until his death, he was pretty much up dancing in the patio with my grandma. And I think, I think he raised 11 children. So, uh, yeah, he was awesome. So these... These here, these sardines are so good for you. And this is just chicken of the sea. Um, you can go to like Costco. There are, you can find better sardines. And I'll do my research. But the ones from Costco, they come in a, a box actually. They're actually way tastier than these ones. And you can, you can get different sauces. You can um, use mustards like this, this kind of stuff. The grainy kind of mustard, which is also very healthy for you can use Dijon mustard. You can use, what's this stuff? Cocktail sauce. Um, you know, 
you can put anything you want. You can saute them in butter. You can add them to make them like a tuna sandwich. Um, you can add them to crackers. Add them to little dinner rolls. You can do, you could put little cherry tomatoes on top of them. Sprouts, microgreens, which are another food that I'll talk about eventually. But um, I'm, I'm starting to shift my focus into talking about food a lot because that's something that I really am aware of. Um, I met my uh, a previous um, significant other and he kind of like revamped my love of food and brought me to a new level when it came to food. And actually I ended up healing like my liver. I was in the hospital in 2019 um, three times with a liver problem. They told me I had stage one um, primary biliary cirrhosis of the liver. And I was only 27 or 28 at that time. And so, you know, I thought this is nuts. And, you know, that person came in and sort of re re-educated me on how to take care of myself. And um, that's been long over, but I really took it seriously and I, I stuck to it. I really stuck to it and I've learned so much along the way. But sardines, you guys are like... Your cats love these too. Your cats will love eating these. They're so good for them. So these ones, I've, I haven't had these ones in a while. Uh, these sardines here, they come in mustard sauces, hot sauces, regular sauces, in oil, in water. Um, they don't smell as strong as you think they would. You can brush your teeth afterwards, you know, wash your hands really good. And basically, you can just get some crackers or just eat them straight out of the can. I do. You know, you just get a fork and have yourself a little meal. This is a, such a good meal. Like, your body's going to say, oh, thank you so much. This is so good. I can't believe you're giving me something real. And this is in a can, sure. Damn. Um, but... You know, you can, you don't have to eat it out of a can if you don't want. Look, you can put it on a plate. We'll do that. Start today. Go to the store and get five or six cans and just eat five or six cans of sardines um, in the week and see how you feel. See how you sleep better. See how it helps re your restless legs, your restless mind. Um, eat an apple afterwards and it really will freshen up your breath. You know, so you're not putting the coarse toothbrush constantly on your teeth. Um, but this is a huge meal for one can. This is a very good size. And I think they were a dollar. They're very inexpensive. I eat them without anything on there. You know, I don't need, I like the way they taste. But these things are so good for you and for, so good for fat burning, building muscle. They're protein. They're power packed with protein. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. You can also, um, what you can do is get a lime, a lime or a lemon, and squeeze some lemon juice on there. And golly, it's good. Eat it with a tomato. Eat it with, a, um, like a blood orange or a couple mandarin oranges, just to give that, that citrusy, um, back flavor to wash it down so good you guys oh yeah have some lemonade with it um, to really enhance the flavor throw some salt and pepper or some fish seasoning on there so good one buck you could be homeless and eat this you don't need to cook it you don't need to do anything to it mm-hmm oh my god you can start doing that today, start seeing a pretty big effect, pretty drastic effect in your health within a few months. Mm. Okay, bon appetit. Cheers. Thanks.